Unbelievable. Is this really what my dad calls a house? It's not even as big as my bathroom. What could be worse than being kicked out of your house by your old dad and on your birthday? <sighs> Fine. If dad thinks this will make it difficult for me, he's totally wrong. Ah! I am Marco, and I've been kicked out of my house on my birthday. If you want to hear the rest of this crazy story, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates. My mother passed away from a severe illness when I was just five years old. Since then, I've lived with my father, and I'm his only legitimate son. Why do I have to emphasize the word legitimate? You'll find out soon. As for my father, he's quite a terrible man. However, when it comes to making money, no one can deny his talent. He's so gross in making money that he doesn't even have time to spend it. That's why I've decided to help him use up that enormous wealth. Since 2018, my life has been filled with late night parties. On my 25th birthday, as I returned home from a party, I suddenly saw my father waiting outside. And he seemed furious. I didn't know what he was up to, and I didn't care. When will you finally grow up? What's this? What makes you suddenly care about me after 25 years of neglect? There's a new project on the way out west. Stop fooling around and go there to complete it. What are you talking about? Everything you need is in here already. If you can't handle it, don't bother coming back. And of course, don't expect a penny of inheritance. What the heck is this? At least let me rest a bit. That's how my beloved father kicked me out to this godforsaken place without any remorse. That's manure. It's great for the soil. Who the hell are you? I'm Caleb, a cowboy. Whatever, go away, please. Back for the land, Gilgit? It's pointless. We won't sell. You gotta change your mind, cause I have the most powerful thing in the world Money! If you say so. Oh, and be careful with the windows at night. You never know what might show up there. No, don't try to scare me. I'm not afraid. However, before I could start dealing with the main task, my first challenge was to get used to this harsh living environment. <coughs> There's no food delivery here. So I had to go to bed on an empty stomach. At night, the temperature abruptly dropped, causing me to shiver. Then a strange sound jolted me awake. Suddenly, the cowboy's words from earlier echoed in my head. If you say so, oh, and be careful with the windows at night. You never know what might show up there. That damn cowboy thought he could scare me. Not a chance! The next morning, I woke up feeling totally beat with a worn out body. Yo, good morning. Seems like last night was a long one for you, huh? <coughs> None of your business. Get lost. <laughs> the annoying cowboy oh. left after mocking me, and he even left behind something full smelling. <sighs> I need to get out of this creepy place ASAP. I started going door to door, offering them a hefty price they couldn't refuse. I thought they would agree and immediately sign the land transfer papers. But to my surprise, they kicked me out without mercy. Some of them pulled out guns to threaten me. Among them was the despicable cowboy's family. 
I told you, it's pointless. If this were the city I live in, I swear to God I'd make him kneel down and hmm. beg for forgiveness. In the days that follow, despite my efforts to offer sky-high prices, only a few people agreed to sell their land. If things keep going like this, I'll wither away in this place. I want to go home, smoking in my bathtub. I want parties. I want... Suddenly, the last person I wanted to see showed up right when I was in my most miserable state. Initially, I had to emphasize that I am my father's legitimate son because he has another legitimate son, Adrian, who is one year older than me. He always portrayed himself as extremely intelligent. That's why my father always favored him over me. As we grew up, he became my father's right-hand man in business. Well, I was like a black sheep in my own home. Why are you here? Wanna mock me or something? I heard you spend nearly 50% of the project's capital and only achieve a quarter of the target. So I had to intervene before you squandered the remaining money. I don't need a Bible like you to help me. Of course, I'm not here to help you. I'm here out of your responsibility. Whatever, but don't expect me to stay with you. Don't worry, I'll stay in a hotel in town. Today, I came here just to witness your pathetic state myself. Don't get too cocky. You'll soon be kicked out of the house or shot through like a sieve. It's actually good though. Just need to wait until he fails and I can come back. <coughs> a few days later, I intended to witness Adrian's failure and laugh at his face. But the sight of him huh? me was unbelievable. The people who had previously chased me away were now extremely friendly and surrounding him. Everyone, rest assured, I'll keep my promises. No one will be at a disadvantage in this matter. What trick did he play to make everyone turn around so quickly? I'm curious too, even my parents changed their minds in a moment. No, there's only one household left that hasn't agreed to sell the land. Wanna join me to find out? Why, why should I go with you? It's good that people are willing to sell their land. You and I aren't on the same boat. Honestly, I was curious to see how he did it too. If he succeeded this time, my father would kick me out without a penny of inheritance. That night, I secretly followed Adrian. He was heading to the last household that refused to sell the land. Suddenly, a hand reached out from behind and covered him. It was Khaled. Shh. With no other choice, I had to act along with him. Why is Adrian going to his house this late at night? Wanna know? Before I could react, he grabbed my hand and pulled me along. Khaled dragged me to the house window where we could see and hear their whole Shh. conversation. Let's cut to the chase. This will be my final offer to you. I heard you still have a daughter studying in the city, right? Leave her out of this. If you dare to touch her, I'll risk my life against you all. Oh, don't get worked up. Who would bear to harm such a lovely girl? However, I know your daughter's major is highly competitive, so I'm afraid she might struggle to find a good job later. But if you agree to sell the land, her future won't be a worry anymore. After hearing Adrian's words, which were both persuasive and threatening, the man began to waver. Is it true that you'll take care of her? Of course, I've never deceived anyone. Huh? He's such a snake! Not only is he setting devilish conditions to lure the villagers, but he's also using their loved ones to threaten them. That's what they call business strategy, bro. Can you excuse us for a private conversation, cowboy? Then Khaled left, giving us space. If Dad knew you were using such filthy tactics to achieve your goals, he definitely wouldn't let you do this. 
Do you know a good horse can run 50 to 100 miles in one night? What does that have to do with what we're talking about? And if someone gets lost in the desert, the chances of surviving to return are very low. Nonsense, are you talking about... I don't know how long I was unconscious. When I woke up, I found myself lying on the back of a galloping horse. You despicable Adrian. When I get back, I'll let you pay. But where the heck is this place? I had been lurching for so long, but still couldn't see any signs of people or houses. The desert sun gradually drained my energy. Is my life going to end here? I haven't done anything meaningful yet. If only I knew... Suddenly, I spotted a familiar figure, Caleb. Why am I thinking about him now? Marco! Marco! Are you okay? Can you hear me? Is it really you? How did you know I was here? Because the horses in the village are all trained by my family. Each one is trained to master a different route. Last night, I waited for you to return. But when I noticed one of the horses was missing from the stable, I suspected you were in danger. Since the missing horse was the fastest in the herd, it took me until now to catch up. So, you went looking for me all night? Hurry back now, it will get harder as the sun rises high. After that, Caleb and I rode on the horse together to head back. Caleb, you don't hate me for trying to ruin your homeland, do you? Why did you bother looking for me? Maybe because I'm a decent person. I couldn't just sit back and watch someone in trouble. As for this place, although I feel so sad about it, life needs to change anyway. If we can't stop it, just embrace it. Ah, oh, right, I'll show you this. And with that, Caleb spurred the horse to run faster. We rode along a small river. The stunning scenery here left me in awe. This is my favorite spot. When I was a kid, my father and I used to ride horses here. Suddenly, a memory rushed back to me. When my mother was alive, she loved horseback riding. And when I was a child, she once brought me here to ride horses. How could I forget this? What am I doing? Why am I trying to destroy the place my mother loved the most? Suddenly, Caleb wrapped his arms tightly around me giving me a warm, comforting hug. It made me forget all the hatred toward him, and instead, it stirred up a feeling, a sense of affection. I have to stop him before it's too late. When I returned, the construction vehicles were already lined up and ready to demolish everything. Stop! Do not demolish this place! Seeing me, Adrian looked somewhat surprised, but he pretended like he didn't. Hurry up and get to work! With no other choice, I took a risk and stood firm in front of the excavators. Don't stop! While the situation was hanging by a thread, a deep resonant voice spoke up. What's going on here? It was my father. He came here to examine how the project was progressing. I immediately recounted all the misdeeds of Ardian to my father. Do you have any evidence? That night, you wanted to go on an adventure and ended up getting lost yourself. Why blame it on me? He's such a venomous snake, it's difficult for me to accuse him now. I do have evidence. Although this place may seem remote, we're not technologically backward. Recently, there have been a few attempts to steal my horses, so I installed a camera here. If you want to know who's lying, all you need to do is take a look. At this point, Adrian had no choice. But to admit his guilt for trying to harm me. After that, I asked my father for permission 
and he agreed to change the original project into a conservation area to attract tourists. And what made me happiest was that I found my true better half.